And we're back at the Man Cave. I am your host, Black Irish. For all my friends, thank you for tuning back in. For anybody who's new, good to hear from you for the first time. You're not here to hear me just talk and praise you bastards. I love all of you. I really do. So, how about we just get to the first video? It's going to be a short one today, but it's going to be pretty fun. Let's continue. So I wanted to give my take on the Passport Boys, a.k.a. these men that are leaving the country to... Yeah, here we go. The same old... They're leaving the country to look for a traditional wife. They're doing all blah, 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 blah. I know I, I, it's probably going to end with Ida. We don't care, but yet you're making a video. I mean, I love it because it just really shows you how powerful this movement was. And their wives or to find women that they feel like are more traditional than American women. It's not that they don't. It's not that they feel like they, they are more traditional than you. You've been westernized. We already know this. First comment. Get a fucking grip. Like, are you guys really being fucking for real? The fact of the matter is the average woman does not even require that much. Yeah, okay. If you haven't obviously gone to, oh, I don't know, any of your daytime television shows, a list of 20 things that they're doing, like Steve Harvey, the panderer, the master of pandering to women, especially black women, about what they want and all the things that they deserve. And the honest truth is that a lot of these women will complain, say, oh, we don't have a lot of standards. We just, we just have normal standards. But then you have like a list of 20, 30, 40 things. And a man could check off every one of your boxes except for one. And then all of a sudden, you're upset. And then you have to just, you know, cancel them out. What happens to just being happy with a man and a man being happy with a woman and you guys work your crap out? No, we don't do that because you got a style and profile. But the average man is not willing to even do the bare fucking minimum to get and keep a woman. Because the modern day woman is bare minimum. You're doing, literally, you're doing the complete opposite of what a man should do to go above and beyond the bare minimum. You are less than the bare minimum. That's why men are doing it. You want a man to spend a whole bunch of money on you on dinner while you're independent and you have a job. And you also want to him to take you on a date and treat you in a traditional mindset, but then you still want to have a modernized look on it. So I'm supposed to be traditional and you're going to be modernized, which means you can make money, save your own money. I got to spend money on you get nothing in return what is it called a foodie call and then after that you're going to call well not you but a pretty woman will actually go and basically get the guy that they want to get which is either the chad which is of course not who you're going to be getting or the pookie and ray ray which i very much believe you will be getting and he's going to blow that back out probably raw dog in it and i paid for you to be fed If you can't afford it, there's also food stamps. As a woman in America, why in 2022 would I settle for a man that expects me to basically be a slave and maid? Where did this mindset come from, the, the, the slave thing? You know, it's funny that a lot of black women keep using the term slave. You have been very pampered, especially in this country. I'm sorry. Cook, clean, be fit, be feminine. Yeah, it sounds like a slave to me. All men are asking you to do is the bare minimum, which is to maintain a household. And the man takes care of everything else around that. But you don't want to do that. You want, you, you're telling men that they are being and doing the bare minimum but yet you sit right there and you're literally not even willing to do the bare minimum walking contradictions 
Like, does that make any sense? Of course it doesn't, because they're modern females. In America. America. So, I, I mean, I see why y'all got to go overseas to sell the bullshit to other women. It's not bullshit. It's just that you're jealous that you basically drank the, the Kool-Aid of the ethnism movement, which, no, not for nothing, other than black women, you've been doing it since the late 60s and still pushing that nonsense. You were too busy trying to be the man that you have no idea what the man looks like when you see them right in front of you. They've all been around there, and they would have taken care of women like you. But you kept those type of black men in the background until you got fat, until you had a bunch of kids, Section 8 maybe, and then you come back, and now you say, you know, I'm ready to settle down. So your butt's supposed to be sticking out way from behind, not your gut. That's what happens when you just have a whole bunch of ill-gotten children that you really shouldn't have had in the first place. Oops, I went there. But another thing you're missing and point you're missing is you need money. Y'all think foreign women are cheaper or something? Or like you think it's not going to cost money to bring a woman over here and make... Nobody, no man in the history of mankind is ever seeing that there's no such thing as not spending money on a woman. No, there's no man. There's no man who is sitting here saying, oh, I'm going to get this woman for free. Well, you can get some things for free from a woman, but if you have a woman, you have to spend money on her. You have to take care of her. You're a provider. What she's not understanding is those women have less, but value more. But I don't expect her to look at a logical version point of this. No. Why would I expect that? It's not going her way. That's why we're here. A citizen, get her acclimated to this culture. Like it's going to take time, energy, and money that y'all can't even give to women that live here. It because you're not deserving of it. You have your own money. Remember, you're a boss. You're a boss hog. You got the money. You got education, and you read four books and junk. You have money. Why? Why? Why would I spend money on you? You haven't figured it out that men don't want to spend money on you because you're doing the bare minimum. It's not that men are doing the bare minimum. They just gave up do, doing going above and beyond because you're unappreciative of what they give you. And then you go date the, the bottom of the barrel men, get used by the bottom of the barrel men, value the high value man, and then you're complaining that the guy that you left in the back burner don't want you. You want to know why they don't want you? Simple. Because you express how you felt about them. Every single day. Their own culture. Just make it make sense. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that they think they're smart. Like, they're, they're just functionally retarded. And I'm not making fun of, you know, disabled people. But, like, no, they're mentally brain damaged. They, they don't even know anything of what they're talking about. They just start talking. And because no one has stopped them to say, you really need to stop talking because that you, you sound foolish. You know, like, you know, when you come out of the bathroom and no one wants to tell you that you have toilet paper stuck to your foot. Yeah, that's what that's what modern day black women are right now with the whole passport boy movement. I'll just keep talking. And because one said it, you repeat what they said. And then when that person says something, you say that they said the default setting. It's because you guys are delusional. Delusional. We're, we're delusional men. We're so delusional that we're finding better women than you. I can't believe that we're so delusional. I think the delusion is the fact that you can't accept that these men don't want you. Why can't you just come clean? Oh, that's right. Accountability doesn't mean jack squat to a modern day woman. And black women, oh, they, they, will, they will fight that like Apollo Creed. To the last round, they'll go. They'll get knocked out before they say, "I quit." They're like John Cena. They ain't gonna quit. Rise above hate. Never give up. It's job central for anyone that tries to stand up against them. It's giving. You need to be in a mental health facility. 
And the shaming language. You know, if there's any group of people that do need to be in a mental asylum, it's, it's women. You are complaining about men who don't, you don't even want and you've insulted for decades about going overseas. And while you're saying you don't care, you're making videos about them. Make that make sense. But they never get their own help. You know where their therapy is? That's right. TikTok. Because instead of being introspective and looking at your actions, what you're doing that's maybe not working out in your favor, um, y'all would rather like go to another country and just continue the toxicity on different women. No, they're not. That's actually your... your she... Yeah. <sighs> no, that's again, that is the men you've been dating, not the men you've been excluding. That's the Pookies and Ray Rays. They have the toxic energy that you've been attracting. That's who you've been wanting all this time. It's not the guys that you've been ignoring. Those guys are going overseas doing what they want to do, finding a traditional woman. And they're taking their money, they're taking their love, and they're taking their respect and going over there. Pookie doesn't have to bring his toxic nature overseas when he can get it for free here. Women like you give Pookie and Ray Ray and Dirty D. Rodney all the energy and sexual drive they need different cultures you think they're not going to call your bluff or figure out that you're full of shit well uh how about we figure this out all the women who are in let's just i'm going to just you know generalize it in the black community who are single mothers there's a whole ton of them they uh pookie must have been a really good liar because it seems like none of you seem to realize that he was a douche nozzle until the last minute Three, four kids in, you still haven't realized it. Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Because then that means you're taking accountability. Shame. It's like y'all think foreign women are dumber or something. No, we don't. We just think modern women are dumb. Like y'all think they won't have standards? They have standards. You don't have standards. Because even if a woman wants to be a traditional woman, that doesn't mean she's going to put up with your bullshit. Well, no, we know that. That's the whole point, that they're not putting up with the BS. Women aren't stupid. Well, you're stupid, but most w women aren't stupid. They know men who are good to be in their lives and who aren't good to be in their lives. The dumb ones don't. The smart ones vet the men that they're with. The dumb ones don't. That's what modernized women do. You just go after whatever feels good and looks good. He's got swag. He wears his clothes nice. But then again, there's the same group of people that will go with someone that has no job, no education, and you will give them 4.5 children. Wreck your body. That's the part that these men are overlooking. They're like, oh, I'm going to get a woman that's traditional. Plenty of women in America want to be traditional wives. They want. You're right. They do. You know what the problem is? They stay quiet when you start talking. So when it happens, guess what? They think that they, those men think they, those women who are behind your big head, they think that you're just like them. I like snakes. I'm not, and if there's a pit of snakes and one of them is, is not poisonous and the rest of them are, I'm not going to take the chance and play with that one snake and hopefully I won't get bit. Don't judge me. I like snakes to stay home and take care of their kids they want their husbands to be providers but within that they also want faithfulness they also want men who are focused on god and not the streets and not women on their instagram so why do you keep dating those type of men does it make you feel good oh yeah see i don't want to admit that i'm gonna bring it down you guys choose those guys let me say right now if Pookie and Ray, if you guys were really on top of your game, Pookie and Ray Ray would not exist. They would they would just be a Thanos snap. They would just like disappear, and they would have to have like the you know the hood rat version of the Avengers just to bring them back. But because they're uneducated and stupid, they probably just erase themselves or get lost in time 
go back during the times of, you know, the Jurassic period and get eaten by dinosaurs. Yeah, I, I, I know that's I know it's random, but it, it it's beside the point. What I'm trying to say is is that that none of it, no one cares. Like no one really cares what you think or feel. You have lost the battle. You've lost the war. You had your chance. And now, like Kevin Samuel says, you're know, just gonna buy a dog and die alone. Be fucking for real. I know it's hard to accept the fact that the problem might actually be you. But running away from the problem to try to go to a different country to bring a woman over is not going to solve your problems. Like, Work for me. It solved all my problems. I don't have any, I don't have any headache anymore. When, when modern black women talk about you need to seek therapy, just remind, you, let, let, remind yourself that they're actually talking about themselves. They need therapy. There is something functionally wrong with them. I don't care what anybody thinks. I had to live around this environment. I've traveled. I've seen the horrors. I've seen the horrors. But you don't have a right to judge me. You have a right to kill me. That right you have, but you don't have a right to judge me. If you're familiar with Apocalypse now. These women have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. They just repeat, wash, rinse, and repeat the same things over and over again. It's not the men that need counseling and therapy. It's you. You need therapy. You guys are so desperate. It's, it's not desperate. They're going someplace else. The desperation is someone who pretends they don't care about these black men and calls them pathetic and then makes, I don't even know how long this video is, about how you don't like these men and don't care about these men, but you want to rub it in their faces. My goodness, I can't for the life of me understand why these black men want nothing to do with you. Let's continue. It's giving desperate. It's not that American women are harder to do. American women have standards that are rightfully fit for living in America. And so that's why they're all desperately alone. That's why they're miserable going on TikTok. How's that working out for you? All the cry videos of how the, where have all the good men gone? Um, I, I don't have a man. I need to freeze my eggs. 2022. If y'all don't want that, very well. Move to another country. Yeah, I know that's what they're doing. And get what you think you want. But I promise it's not what you want. Here's my thing about this whole nonsense. She's going she's, she's gonna to tell a man, a black man, what you need to do. You need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. And these are the same women that can't find a man, that can't find a D to save their lives. You choose the same guys over and over again. I'm too weak. Oh, don't kill me. Please. And you... You, and then you want to tell a man how to be a man. Sad. It's really sad. Ten years later. I'm at the, um, the airport in Atlanta, and I'm so overwhelmed with it. Oh, baby girl, what's going on? What happened to you? Who hurt you? In addition to just feeling disrespected and unappreciated by men in my own life what what the fuck i'm sorry um I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you say you said that you were been disrespected by men you mean like not that long ago you made a video insulting those same black men it's another thing when you wake up to comments on the internet by other black men who just hate black women like See, and I'm going to tell you something about Black Womb. They have three stages. The first, moving the goalposts. Anything that's wrong, they're going to move the goalposts every single time. And if you have to stay on top of your game, you have to be on top of it and call around it every single time. The next step is trying to go with, I was going to say it, the white girl way. All cry, all emotions, crocodile tears, etc. They're going to cry, and they're basically, because you they want to get people to just feel sorry for them. And if it works, it works. It works with most white women, but when black women do it, 
you've been spending too many years trying to be hard. So everyone knows it's full of crap. There's no tears coming out. When you don't let that go, here comes the other thing, the hyena mode. And they start becoming rabid animals. Gnawing, scar, <laughs> getting crazy all over you because they can't accept the fact that you just won't, you skipped phase one and then phase two. And they went straight into phase three, which is basically contradicts everything they just did in phase one and two. Notice how she's upset, but you don't see any tears. I just, I don't know. I, I feel like everything black women do is a problem. <laughs> you got to put yourself in that predicament. See, you didn't know how to keep your mouth shut. I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel safe. And? Protected love. Well, here's the thing. You be protected if you actually, you know, treated the black man with, with love and respect and then stop pretending that you're a victim after you insulted the men who don't want you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> my, my apologies. I meant the men that you didn't want. <laughs> uh. around my own man men of my race and it hurts if you really thought that maybe you shouldn't have said anything you ever thought that did you ever think that maybe just maybe that burning your bridges was not the smartest thing to do well that's because you're not a leader you're a follower <laughs> because black women go so hard for y'all Ha ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Really? Oh wow, you're serious. Oh, okay. So you, you you black women go hard. Oh no, you go hard. You go ham on black men. When you mad and it seems like the thing, like the soul sister thing to do, you go ham on black men. See the thing is, like I said, y'all act like mentally challenged adults. It's not me saying it. You're doing it. You're actually going out here pretending that you go above and beyond these men. You can't raise them as a single mother. You can't pick the fathers to keep you from being a single mother. You got your jailbird sons running out here shooting up the neighborhood. You only seem to care about black men when they get shot by police. Yeah, I went there. But the boy that needs shoes for an education, you know, to get to school or, or better school or books for an education. I never hear you guys talk about it, going on above and beyond. What was the last thing you did going above and beyond that wasn't somebody that was a convicted felon? Hmm? I mean, not for nothing. You guys call Michael B. Jordan corny because he called out some woman that he used to hang out with when he was younger who thought he was corny. And y'all went ham on him. Get out of here. We go so hard for black men. And they just never do the same for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, see, this is why they don't, this is why black men don't do nothing for you no more. I'm grateful. Completely. None of you give a crap of all the hard work and effort that black men have put in for you. Oh, but we're, we're, we're victims and we're always on a, a, attacked by other people. Because you do horrible things to people. You are the most rudest people on the planet. And then you come up and pretending, I don't know what they're talking about. Where's the victim? Like you just stabbed that guy over the night, Dan. No respect, I tell you. And I'm tired. Black women are tired. They tired of being strong. They tired of love. Oh, get off your high horse. Some of the comments I read were so hateful. Just and, and racist. Like, you know what you're not going to see, and I can guarantee you, I want her to make a video where she shows the comments. 
That's how you can tell she's full of crap. They never show the comments. They always want to talk about, oh, my comment section is full. And then, then show it, stupid. And not for nothing, even if they did, you had it coming. You went after the black man, and the black man is done with it. Hell, you gone after the, the Filipino women. And they're clapping back. You made their news. Because you don't know how to shut the hell up. And you still playing victim. Listen, I don't care how many people panhandle for you. Because you're like mentally challenged adults. You put yourself in that position. It is what it is. You put yourself in that position. You don't know how to be humble. Too busy being masking for so many years. Blaming black men that you were, had to be masking for too many years. Having to live that lifestyle masculine for too many years. And then you're complaining that these men got tired of, you telling, of them telling you to stop being masculine. While you tried to shout them down and insult them using every word in the book. On the internet, showing everyone why it's okay. No, sorry, goodbye. The white man doesn't even have to do the job for you because black men do the job of white supremacy. For oh, now we're bringing racism into this. See, when it comes to white zaddy, you got to bring him in. Oh, they don't have to do nothing because uh, you're on the white hand man of uh, white supremacy. Mm -hmm. Okay. The same group of women who call a white cop on a black man in your house and say that he hit you. The same white man who comes to the house when he doesn't pay his child support and you send him to jail, right? But it's the black man who is the right hand of white supremacy. You also take the white man's money when you're too broke, but you're strong and independent. I've never been called ugly, unattractive. Oh, I'm sure you have. Ghetto. Definitely ghetto. And just all the negative things. Well, the honest truth is most black people, most black women go on the internet and do that. Do you stop them from doing that? No. You mind your business. It's only bad when black men call you out on it. That people say about black women by anyone other than black men. No, there are other people that talk about you. They just can't say it like black men do because you'll call them wasis. Oh, they're racist for saying that we tweak, we're twerking on tables. They're racist for saying that we, like, uh, you know, talk about how many baby mamas and daddies we got. We're, they were, they're racist for saying that. Okay. You know what? I'm sick and tired of y'all bullying us. I'm sick and tired of us being quiet. When the hell were you quiet ever? Y'all don't ever stop talking. You, you, this is what I'm talking about. See how they, they, they're so stupid. They don't realize that the internet exists. It's this big, it's the world wide web. You have been doing this for so long, but you don't know how to shut up that you can actually think that you've been quiet this entire time. No, no, all you do is talk. And y'all just wonder why we are quote unquote angry. No, you're angry because you're angry. That's just in your nature. It wasn't like that generations ago, but you made yourselves angry. They, modern day women have the color purple effect without living the color purple life. They all feel like they're just having to fight their entire life. We're not angry. We're fucking tired. No more 2024. Nobody cares. Well, that's the end of this video. I'm really just... I always like to see a woman pretending that she cares and basically is going on in life pretending that she's a victim. You're not a victim, honey. You're far from it. You caused it. You caused yourself to be in this position. That's on you. You should have been treating the men who've been trying to fight for you for generations with a little bit of respect. Now they're going someplace else. Well... That is the end of this show. Like, share, subscribe. Please, please hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, the man cave is always open. <laughs>